41 inches. Ugh. I'm looking at 35 pounds. Nice. Hello folks, I'm Todd Hanna with the Oregon Angler Guide Service here on the beautiful Umpqua River. Whether I'm going up to Alaska fishing halibut or down to Mexico fishing Dorado, I never go anywhere without my Bubba Blades. Right now I've got a nice 35 pound king salmon we caught today. I'm gonna to do a little demonstration on how to get some beautiful fillets off this fish. I like to take my Bubba Blade right here, my smaller size, I like to come in right here, take these fins off right off the bat. Get rid of those because no one wants to eat any bones today. Coming in just like this. See how sharp and easy the Bubba Blade is? Right through that fish. Now I'm gonna pick up this larger Bubba Blade because I want it to go all the way through this fillet. As you can see right here, if I had a smaller bubble blade, I'm not gonna make it through. So you wanna get the full set, folks. Get the full set of bubble blades here. I come in at an angle just like this, right behind the gill plate, coming down like that, right by the pectoral fin. I come in with a bubble blade like that, and I just turn it right on top of the backbone right there. Now I can feel that backbone with my bubble blade. So I wanna just slide right down the back of that, just like that, so easy. Come right down by the tail all the way, then turn your knife up and come up like that. Want to see something beautiful? Look at that fillet, folks. See how my bubble blade slid right down the backbone right there, didn't cut through it? Never wasted a bit of meat, folks. These knives stay razor sharp. I'll clean hundreds of fish with this bubble blade before I ever have to sharpen it, and they sharpen easy on any type of a steel or stone. Now, it's just as easy to do the second side. Come in right behind this pectoral fin right there at an angle. Cut that back. Come right back. Don't want to waste a bit of meat, folks. Come in like this. Sometimes I'll start down here a little bit, get it started. Then I come in, I just take the bubble blade right down along the backbone and turn it just like that. Right across that dorsal fin. Slide the knife back in. And I can feel that backbone as I'm coming along right there. And I just slide that bubble blade right along that backbone. Get down to the tail, right up like that. What do we have, folks? Another beautiful filet of salmon right there. Look at that, right along the backbone every time. The other thing I like to do, I don't like to waste any of my meat, so I come in with my smaller bubble blade that's razor sharp. I come in like that. I take this little piece right here. Beautiful to lay in the smoker. We don't waste a thing. Nothing cuts it like this, folks. Nothing cuts like a bubble blade. Right there. Watch this. Come over here, I wanna feed the smaller fish. Boom, boom, boom. All goes back to nature, folks. Now, watch how easy I can take these belly bones out of this king salmon right here. Not even the restaurants take out these belly bones a lot of times, folks. But with the bubble blade, you can come right in just like that, right underneath all those bones. Just come in, a couple sweep, quick sweeps like that. Look at that, coming right out. No one wants to have bones in their fish. Beautiful. Oh, so easy to do. So easy, folks. So easy. Come right up like that. Look at that, nothing but bone, beautiful filet right there, all ready for the barbecue. We're gonna do it one more time down this side, the easy side right here. Coming in like that, just take that bubble blade, slide it right down along the bones there, take those belly bones right out. Coming up like that. Oh, fold it over like that, look at that folks, beautiful, beautiful. Come in on the other side, just cut it right along just so easy like that. Those bones are gone. Now, Phil, the gentleman who caught this fish, Phil. Calandra, how many pieces would you like me to whack your fish into with my bubble blade? Oh, I know. That's a lot of meals there. Six or seven? Six or seven? Okay. All right, I like to start down here with this tail section when I'm doing that. Right there, that'll feed a few people right there. Put my hand out like that. Another nice piece for the barbecue. Look how easy this bubble blade cuts through that, folks. Look at that, smooth as silk. Oh, coming down here, here's a big piece for the smoker right there. Look at that, beautiful steaks. Doesn't get any easier than cleaning a fish with a bubble blade. All right, same size pieces, Mr. Calandra. Same size coming up here, look at that. So easy, so easy. Because there's not a bone left in it because we took all the bones out with a bubble blade. Oh, I'm leaving you one big piece for the, when you have the family over. Folks, being a professional guide and filleting fish every day, I cannot take care of my hands any better. With a bubble blade, you've got a special grip on them right here. The hand fits in there. 
stops you from sliding up the knife. You want to watch with some of the other fillet knives you see on the market. Don't be buying a cheap imitation. Buy a Bubba Blade, folks, because you are not going to find a better knife than this. I've been flaying fish for 30 years at the Oregon Angler Fishing Guide Service, and I have not come across a better knife than the Bubba Blade.